Yo, it's your boy T.C. Barber. Before we get into this haircut tutorial, I'm gonna just say, only in the barber shop. True story. And they look like they still cutting up in this joint. Let's see if I get afraid or something. Hey man, I'm just trying to get a table. You know, fit my sides. You know what I'm saying? Line my mustache up and get my beard and stuff. Sorry, my man. We done for the night. But can I just be your last, last one? Like your last, last one. I tell you what, I pay you extra, bro. Cut you look. Don't it look like I got it? <laughs> What's up? At this point, man, I've been cutting all day. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I just want to get home. For real, man. You gonna do me like that, man? But y'all sure don't look like y'all clothes. TV's on, lights on, barber pole still on. Bet you forgot about that, huh? Music blast. I tell you, I'm gonna hit you up tomorrow. Right? Good job, it's a good shot. YouTube is your main man, T.C. The Bob. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button and also that notification bell. We'll let you know when I'm dropping my next video. In this hair tutorial, I'm doing a ball taper. Starting off with my silver Babyliss FX. Gonna be setting my first ball line at the nape of the neck. Now coming back with the Walls Magic Clips with the lever all the way open, I'm going to set my first guideline in, going up about a half an inch. Closing that lever up, I'm going to go ahead and knock out the ball line. Flicking up and edit. Now I'm going to open the lever up to half to finish off the fade. At the bottom of the neck. Now with number one guard with the lever all the way open, I'm gonna go up another half an inch and I'm gonna be setting in my second guideline. Now coming back with the 116 guard with the lever all the way closed, I'm gonna go ahead and knock out my first guideline. I'm gonna open that lever up halfway and continue to fade. Coming back with a one and a half guard with the lever all the way open, I'm gonna go ahead and create my third guideline. Constantly brushing the hair down so I can see what I'm working. Now with the number one guard, put the lever all the way open. I'm gonna go ahead and fade out my second guideline. Gonna close the lever halfway and continue to fade. back up as I go higher on the fade. Now with the number two guard with the lever all the way open, I'm going to go ahead and do some debulking uh, up in this area. Coming back with the number one and a half guard. Coming right up under that number two all the way open. Just doing some detailing right now. Now with the number three guard, with the lever all the way closed, I'm gonna knock down the sides in the back. This is the uh, this is the length. Number three guard is the length that he wants the uh, sides in the back down to. And I'm gonna repeat the same steps on the right side of the head, making sure the sides in the back is all even, the same length. He likes to keep the side in the back a little darker just because he has a scar back of his head. 
and um yeah so that's pretty much the level that we uh, went with the number three guard so now i'm just edging them up in the back and as you can see i'm working the corner of the blade as i get up and around the ears just repeat the same steps on the right side so anything you do on the left side you do on the right side So I'm gonna start my ball taper off at the mid ear up to the temple area. Now with the Andy's Corliss Master, with the lever all the way closed, I'm mean, all the way open, setting my first guideline. Now I'm gonna close the lever and come back and knock out that ball line that I created. Just hit my lever to half and continue to fade until I knock that line out. Now I'm closing the lever all the way, just come back to do some detailing and open it up halfway. Now with the 1 16th guard with the lever adjusted to half, going up about a half, a quarter inch. Now coming back, now I'm closing the lever all the way, just to go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and start fading it. Number one guard with the lever all the way open going up another half an inch so as I'm setting my guidelines I'm coming back to fade them now back with the 116 guard with the lever open to half closing the lever back with the number two guard as I go higher on the fade Number two with the lever all the way open. And I'm fading right into that number three guard. Now I'm coming back with the one guard. And I'm gonna open, close the lever halfway. And just detailing. One sixteenth guard, the lever adjusted to half. Back with the number two guard. Reason why I came back with the number two guard is to go back in just to detail, clean up some areas. Now I'm back with the number one guard. Come right back up under, under that two. And I just want to make sure this fade is real blurry. So I just came back to repeat some steps. Clean up some areas that I missed. Now you see me go back with the uh, no guard half. Now I got it open. And like I say, I'm just detailing, man. Just detailing. Keeping it consistent. Now I'm going to just speed this side up. What you do to one side, you do to the other. So I'm going to just speed this part up and then we can move to the next step. So I'm going to just water down the hair. Get the hair nice and moist. I'm going to pick the hair up and I'm going to be taking a quarter inch to a half off. And just working, away from, working my way from my left to my right. Front to back. Picking the hair all the way up and only clipping the hair that I see through the comb. Now I'm 
Now, right now, I'm just going through to do, to do some cross checking. Now that I got the hair cut down, I'm going to go ahead and style the hair over to the left side, which is my right right now that I'm standing in front of. And I'm going to go ahead and start the uh, hard part. Now I'm setting this part in not super thin, so like not super big either. So kind of like right in the middle. Now I'm going through with some scissors just to clean it out. I'm going to go ahead and start edging up. And as you can see right now, I always try to use the eyebrow as a guide to set in the line to edge up my corners so that I want to push the uh, corners too far back. Now I see some hair that was sticking out on the side, so I'm just gonna go back and do some detailing. Just clean up some areas, just to touch it up. And I'm using um, scissors over comb. Now that I got that finished, gonna go ahead and finish edging up the front of the hairline. Starting in the middle, using the middle as the guide as well. And as you should see me swinging the chair around, I'm looking at that mirror when I do that. Just to make sure I got the line nice and crispy and nice and straight.
Now to finish off the cut, I'm gonna hit him with a little enhancement, which is some um, elegant uh, hair coloring that I'm using. Going over the part, just cleaning it up. Now I'm gonna style the hair with some elegance holding spray just to keep the hair in place. Yo, 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 this is The Cut. I appreciate you guys for watching. Leave comments below. Let me know what you think of The Cut. Also, you can follow me on IG at TC the Barber and Facebook at Tony T. Clock. I appreciate you guys for your support and thank you for watching.